This is Hank Adi, Technical Support Manager and Applications Engineer for Mesh Dynamics. The Mesh Dynamics MD4000 is the ideal mesh node for video and surveillance applications. Its compact size, along with superior technology and ease of use, make for a swift installation and effortless operation. Video applications tend to be bandwidth intensive. Many wireless systems suffer from jittery video due to lack of available bandwidth transferred across the backhaul. The MD4000 uses third generation mesh technology to maintain bandwidth over numerous hops without degradation. First and second generation mesh nodes only use one channel of a certain frequency spectrum across all lengths of a backhaul during operation. A node in the mesh cannot send and receive at the same time since the same frequency is used for both functions. This makes for a very inefficient process that severely affects bandwidth as the number of hops increases. The number of cameras that can be installed onto a network is therefore limited. Video applications can start to encounter issues after only a few hops in first and second generation meshes. The third generation backhaul of the MD4000 uses multiple channels simultaneously within the utilized spectrum in order to ensure minimal bandwidth loss as the number of hops increases. Typically, the 5 GHz spectrum is used for the backhaul. Since different 5 GHz channels are used by adjacent links in the mesh, there is no interference along the backhaul. This allows each node to send and receive at the same time, therefore conserving bandwidth over many hops. Although Mesh Dynamics third generation mesh nodes typically use the 5 GHz spectrum for the multi channel backhaul, the 2.4 GHz spectrum and the 4.9 GHz public safety band can also be used. The 5 GHz spectrum is used mainly for two reasons. There is more available channel space in this spectrum, allowing for the most number of channels to be used, and because it is a relatively clean RF space, which caters to smooth, glitch free video. The 2.4 GHz spectrum is usually used for the backhaul in rural areas where great distances are needed and the RF pollution is much lighter than in civilized areas. The 4.9 GHz public safety band is a licensed band reserved for police and emergency services. The right hand Ethernet port on the MD4000 mesh node serves as a switch port to network devices. The data from clients or devices connected to this port will be sent wirelessly through the mesh to the main network. The most basic way to create a wireless surveillance system using the MD4000 is to simply connect an IP camera to the right hand Ethernet port on the mesh node. If multiple cameras are needed on a single node, connect a switch to the right hand Ethernet port, then connect the desired number of cameras to the switch. To determine the maximum number of cameras that can be installed onto a network, camera settings must first be taken into account. The settings of a camera affect how much bandwidth the camera will require. There are several settings that can be applied to cameras, such as frame rate, resolution, and compression, to name a few. The table below gives bandwidth values for some common camera settings with varying frame rates. The 802.11a protocol which is used by the 5 GHz backhaul, can support roughly 22 Mbps of throughput on each of its non-overlapping channels. If a camera is set to consume 1 Mbps of throughput, this implies that an 802.11a link can support the bandwidth needed by 22 such cameras. Typically, the number of cameras is cut back slightly to allow for other wireless overhead on the link. In addition to the multi-channel third generation backhaul of the MD4000, which enables it to carry this 22 Mbps over numerous hops without bandwidth degradation, the MD4000 offers features that can even further increase the available bandwidth on the network, bonded channel technology, and multiple downlink radios. Bonded channel technology uses twice the channel width as standard 802.11ag channels, but gives twice the throughput of the standard channels. A link using bonded channel technology supports approximately 44 Mbps of throughput. Multiple downlink radios will give a mesh multiple 22 Mbps sources of bandwidth. Each downlink radio on a root node will provide a separate channel for relay nodes to associate to. 
With the appropriate use of sector antennas, the multiple sources of bandwidth can be distributed across the mesh. The diagram below illustrates how different groups of relay nodes get their own 22 Mbps source of bandwidth from each of the root node's downlinks. Antenna spreads are selected based on the local distribution of relay nodes. Three downlink radios are used in this example. While other vendors offer only a single downlink radio on the root node, which can severely limit the number of cameras that can be installed on a network, the ability of the MD4000 to utilize multiple downlink radios allows for a substantial increase in the number of network cameras. The benefit of multiple downlink radios can also be applied to relay nodes. A relay node's uplink that has a bonded channel connection can provide separate downlink connections of 22 Mbps to different geographical locations. This is especially helpful when there are node clusters and surveillance areas that are non-line of sight from the root node. The combination of the third generation backhaul and seamless node-to-node -node switching make the MD4000 mobile nodes ideal for mobile video applications. The MD4000 has been tested at 65 miles per hour while sending glitch-free video over five hops. During this test, an average of 10 Mbps of throughput was measured. The connectivity of the mobile node was set at 24 Mbps in order to utilize the robust 16 QAM modulation scheme. Some applications require vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle transmission of video. The MD4000 has been successfully field tested with vehicles in motion, sending video and voice from one vehicle to another over five hops. This concludes the video surveillance webcast. Thank you for listening, and for further questions, please contact Mesh Dynamics.